Hey guys, this video is how to make chocolate milk for your reborn toddler. I know I don't have a reborn toddler yet, but I'm planning on getting one one time. I don't really know when, but so yeah, I'm just going to get started. So what you're going to need is a bottle. This is, I thought it was a Gerber, but it's actually a first essentials bottle and it's a nine ounce bottle. I don't know where the lid is or the ring right now, so I just have I just have a cap for it, and I'm just gonna shake it up with my hand over top of it. You're also gonna need some brown paint and some white paint. I do it this way because, I don't know, I like it this way, but also, um, that's my first time using that paint, so I don't know if it's gonna work. This paint I've used before, it does work. This one, I don't know. So I really recommend, um, I can't read it because it's, a, it's Craft something. Sorry. I'll get to you guys that after the video. So yes, you're gonna need brown paint and white paint. So this is Elmer's white paint. Um, it's new, like brand new. So I'm hoping that it will work. I'm not too sure. So yeah, to start off, you are going to need a bit of the white paint. Put a bit of the white paint into the bottle. I was supposed to get food coloring, but I don't have it because my mom forgot to get it. And then, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put just a little bit of brown paint. Not too much, you don't want too much. You don't want it too brown. Takes a little bit for it to come out. It'll probably come out soon, so so sorry that it comes. That's weird. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna shake it up a bit, and then it should come out. There we go. All right. Hopefully you guys saw that. So now it looks really disgusting. And I'm just going to shake it up. But what I have to do is I have to, I'm just going to put the camera down for a second. And I'm going to shake it up now. Alright guys, I just have to um, get something to shake it up with, sorry. Alrighty, now it looks pretty good. So this is how it looks. It's very, very milky, which is nice. Um, not as well as the paints that I would usually use. I think it's the Elmer's stuff that doesn't work because it kind of sticks to it and I'm hoping that it won't wreck my bottle. But I very, very recommend, um, I'm going to go check. It is, I'm sorry guys. Oh my goodness, I can't, oh there it is. Craftsmart. So I recommend Craftsmart paints. They're very good. I'm pretty sure they're wash. They washable. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, they're not. Um, they are washable. This one, I don't know. It does look pretty good though. It's very dark in camera, but it is a lot lighter. I think it is a lot lighter. It's going weird. But Sorry about that, guys. Um, so, yeah, that's how you make your chocolate milk. I really do not like how it turns. There we go. That's the color. It's very milky. You see when you shake it a bit, it has little bubbles on it like real chocolate milk does. And so, yeah, that is how you make your reborn chocolate milk. Bye, guys.